All right, welcome back to MVS Rides. We're on the uh, same platform we're always fixing because it always needs something. And on this one, we're gonna be fixing right in here. Uh, motor's cool, make sure it's cool. I mean, it's sad I have to say that, but some people are just not bright. They'll come home from work, wanna knock this out, and it's too damn hot, you will burn yourself, it's under pressure, you will spray yourself. Um, we're gonna take this off and replace the thermostat. Uh, this is what I'm using, where is that part? I don't know if it's the 131-151. Got this off of Rock Auto. It could be the 126-32948. What is happening, and I've got a little clip of it happening, is uh, when you're driving, I'll explain it too, because some people like that. So when you're driving, like look at this thing, it's clear over here. It shouldn't ever be there, but I guess it kind of went up there, or maybe this is how it got parked. This thing will slowly creep up and it'll pass 210, which to me starts to make me worry a little bit. I know there's some variance in the gauges, but when it normally sits, it's in between this hash mark and the 210, right in the middle or even on the lower end. Uh, what happens is it goes up, hits a spot somewhere over here, and then it goes back down. And what's happening is your thermostat is jacked up. Uh, it's stuck, it's taking the extra heat, and finally it pops free and allows the coolant to go through, through it, and you'll see this go and then come down here and sit. But what happens eventually is this doesn't pop or release anymore. You get really hot and you either spray underneath the hood or you overheat, boil over. There's so many bad things, damaging things that can happen because the coolant isn't circulating. Uh, it's something that's very uh, common in these. I think I've owned four or five of this body style and I've done this fix in every single one of them. I might have owned more than that if you count the Tahoes, uh, but there's, maybe there's one I didn't do. I think there's one Tahoe I didn't, but uh, another Tahoe I did, every Suburban we've had I did, that red truck that I traded for the Dodge, uh, it had it done. It was doing the same thing. It'd creep up here and it usually starts to get to around 210 and then drop a little bit. It may be understandable for the very first part, but once it starts to get up to 210 and past, yeah, that's when you got problems and pretty soon, speaking from experience, it's going to go up, you're going to pop, you're going to have steam coming out all over your engine because there's, there's other spots that that will pop and it's just not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that off. I'll take you along for the ride. I've got a clip watching it happen. Um, so I'll air that clip. Uh, all right, right here. so here's an issue with this we're going to remedy. You can see that that gauge went up to 210. And now it's slowly dropping. It shouldn't have to do that. The thermostat is sticking until she's warm. So now it's going to drop back down and we should be good to go. But uh, man, how frustrating is that? Once it gets up there once, it pops. But what happens eventually is it gets to the point where you're... Let me keep that off of there. Ah! Uh, keep going and going until you're going to cause some damage. All right, there you got to see it in action. What we're going to do is get under the hood and replace that. It's very simple fix. Just make sure your motor's not hot. All right, so a couple things I want to call out. There is a ground right there. Make sure you put it back. Because a lot of times people get done, there's a wire hanging there. I am not 100% sure what that ground actually goes to. It might be part of the AC. Uh, I'm not sure, but the ground is right there. Just sandwiches in, under this bolt and that. Once you pop that off, you can do it without taking all this stuff off, which is... Uh, it's really nice. So you got one bolt here, one bolt there, lift it up and off. This this motor's pretty, this came from Utah. They did salt the roads. We tried to keep it clean. We've done a really good job. The owners before us had it as a, uh, I guess a ski weekend pleasure vehicle. Uh, they parked it at their home in Park City, used it to run to the ski resorts, drive through all the salt and stuff, and then parked it for the summer. And I don't think they did a very good job of uh, hosing it off before they were done. So you'll see a lot of like there's some rust got a few leaks down there A lot of the things here are rusty. You got this right here um, Go down to Arizona. You won't see hardly any of this type of stuff So that's why they say a good Arizona car is is nice. I mean the heat does its damage to other things, but uh, Water splashes up in the rust here. So let me get started by taking that off all right, so on the back one, it took a half inch. On the front one, 9 sixteenths. I don't recall if that's the case on all of them. Uh, here's the part. This is all you're going to be replacing. Nice little thermostat. Uh, this is just what it supposedly came with. I know you can go warmer, you can go cooler. Uh, I guess the little gasket thing's already on there, so make sure that stays like that, and you'll be good to go.
So let me keep working those off. I'm probably gonna spill a little coolant because we are plumb full. Uh, like I said, this one was a little bit bigger. 9 16 versus a half inch on this back one. Uh, I put the 9 16 on it, it just slipped off, which is not good. You'll just round it. Uh, but this is finger tight now. So I will get these taken off and we'll uh, show you what it looks like with it off. All right, so here's the front one. This is a little smaller. I had to put a metric on that. That's the top. That's from the front piece. And this is the back one. There's no bolt on top of it. This has two because it sandwiches this in between it. This is easy to get off. I'm gonna have to do a little prying. As you can see, it's kind of corroded and stuck in there. We gotta zoom in a little bit. I forget this camera has zoom. Uh, I don't know how the audio is with this camera, but it has zoom. Um, I tried, so I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of a pry there to probably break this from the edge. Then we'll put the new one in. I did lose a little cooling out. Uh, this is surprising enough. This one's actually running dex cool like it's supposed to. Uh, a lot of them have been flushed and they just run the regular standard antifreeze that's green. Uh, it seems to work just fine because I know that black suburban it has runs the green stuff. So let me pry on this for just a little bit. I'm just going to take a little screwdriver and kind of clean off this stuff and it should come right out. We'll put the new one in. Uh, take note of which way this thing goes. Like that. This is on top orientation of this doesn't really matter just set it down in there i don't think it matters anyways i haven't had one matter yet it kind of just sits down in that little hole there and the gasket seals it and then the metal goes on top uh, that thing goes on top clamp it down uh, tighten them evenly so you get a nice seal and uh good to go we'll uh show you what it looks like with that off should be full of coolant all right so this little guy i just got under i drained a little bit of coolant but not enough I just got under this a little bit and lifted up, came right out after I scraped it. So now I have wiped that as clean as it's going to get. Uh, once it came free, I pushed it back down and scraped the edges. It was kind of nasty. It doesn't want to focus on that thing. Just set the new one in there. Now I'm going to put that on top of it right here and bring this back into place. Line it back up and uh, tighten it down definitely not too bad you'll get a little dirty don't cry uh plenty of different sizes here yours could be different i think this one's been played with and people just put whatever they could find on it and uh yeah we'll go from there so i think this new thermostat should work great i want to say it was a 185 so it should open a little before that and fully open at 185 i believe it could be wrong it could start to open at 185 and fully open at like two i don't recall uh, it's been sitting on a shelf for a while. So let me get that put back together. Do not forget to hook that back up or something is not going to work right. One thing I did want to say is spray this with WD-40. Then take a paper towel, wipe it off. It'll clean it up. It'll go in a lot easier. What was tough to pull out will go in a lot easier. As you can see all the junk that has built up. That WD-40 will loosen some of that then wipe it dry and then put it back in. The front one I've just put in by hand. And now, so I don't forget, I'm gonna set that back on there. I'll spray this nut out and put it on the top and we'll go from there. Well, with that hood down, added a little coolant. Uh, we're good to go. She works, she runs just perfect, gets up like it should and then uh, stays there. So uh, if you need to do this type of fix on yours or yours having issues, go for it. Uh, again, 90, uh, for sure 96 to 99 Tahoe and Suburban, 96 to uh, 98 Silverado Sierra, and it could be a lot of other vehicles when the thermostat starts to stick, but uh, it could be an earlier CK series uh, OBS style, if you will. Uh, that one's had it done already. This one now has it done. Uh, good luck. Hopefully you uh, and keep enjoying these uh, masterpieces that are now at the point in their life they fall apart.